Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dasha. Добро пожаловать. It is Dasha of Russia React. And today I'm going to be watching Back to the Future 2. And this is a patron voted movie. And so far, patron voted movies were the best, they were super interesting. And you guys know me already, so I'm looking forward to watching this one. And especially because I watched the first part and it was so good. After after the movie, I had this warm fuzzy feeling inside. So hopefully today um, today's movie is going to be as good as the first one, or maybe even better. We will see. Um, also, if you want to see my full-length reaction to this video and also participate on votes where we decide what to watch next, follow my Patreon. The link is on the video and it's also in the description. Also, before we start, don't forget to press like and subscribe and leave a comment to help me. Girl. <laughs> anyway, let's just start watching the movie. Oh, I remember he wanted this car. Yeah, like in the first movie, he was like, Oh, I'm going to get this car. Oh man, you are safe for Sora. This is not Jennifer. We changed the actress. Oh, this is, this is how it ended, right? This is the end scene. The dog. Right? Yes. <laughs> you gotta come back with me. I love it, his glasses. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you and Jennifer both turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something's gotta be done about your kids. So we have kids together? Oh, so we stayed. We're like, um, high school sweethearts. Rose, where we're going, we don't need Rose. <laughs> Like DeLorean? Okay, this must be <laughs> pretty like for beef. <laughs> oh wow, even for me. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Back to the future part two. Ooh. But I'm surprised we changed the actress because I remember the first scene that we saw, we saw in this movie, it also was the last scene of the first part. So, and she was in it. At 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, 2015. Okay, there is nothing like 2015. <laughs> but for them, it's like 20, 20 years, right? Yes, 30, 30 years. <laughs> Me and math. You're in a time machine. <laughs> and this is the year 2015? <laughs> God, I wonder where we live. I bet it's a big house with lots of kids and... How many kids? What is that? He killed her? Just a sleep-inducing alpha rhythm generator. Oh, I need this. too many questions and no one should know too much about their future. Then what did you bring her for? I had to do something. She's not essential to my plan. <laughs> well, you're the doc, doc. It's her, uh, Sky Highway. <laughs> in the skies, Marty, but I was afraid you wouldn't recognize me. I went to a rejuvenation clinic and got a whole natural overhaul. What? Added a good 30 to 40 years to my life. They also replaced my spleen and colon. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> Nothing really changed. Yeah, but... <laughs> good time, Marty. We're on a tight schedule here. Hey, tell me about my future. I mean, I, I know I make it big, but what do I... <laughs> I know I make it big. All kids in the future wear their pants inside out. <laughs> Put on this cap. Perfect. You're the spinning image of your future son. In exactly two minutes, you go around the corner into the cafe 80s. Are we just going to leave her there? I don't get it. I, I thought you said this had something to do with my kids. Look what happens to your son. Oh, yeah. This is what his You've jailed? Martin McFly Jr. arrested for theft. He's tried, convicted, and sentenced to 15 years in the state penitentiary. 15 years? My daughter? Wait a minute, I have a daughter? You see, this one event starts a chain reaction that completely destroys your entire family. Oh, that's good that we have a time machine. I backtracked everything to this one event. That's why we're here today, to prevent this incident from ever happening. He's a great friend. Well, everyone, you know, wearing such a, like, orange. It's all so bright. Look behind. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> Okay, I would be scared too. Even in the afternoon and noon. <laughs> it's glitching. Our special today is mesquite grilled yes. sushi. You mesquite grilled sushi? You walk by the hunt special. Yes. You walk by the hunt special. 
Okay, this is what freaked me out too. Must be rough being named after a complete butthead. What's Oi, that supposed nothing to changed, Hello? you know? <laughs> he is the same. Look, I, I have to know George McFly is No, I'm not talking loser. about George McFly. I'm talking about his kid. Oh, so is he a loser? The man who took his life and flushed it completely down the toilet. Oh my gosh, that's very... I told you, two coats of wax on my car, not just one. Hey, hey, I just put the second... Oh, so this is... Oh, this is his son? Are you two related? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Calls me Grandpa for his help. Oh, sorry. He's Griff. Gramps! Sorry, not that. Grand grandfather. I'm a fly! Don't go anywhere! You're next! Wow, they... You know, the apple is falling not very far from the apple tree. Have you made a decision about tonight's opportunity? Uh, he speaks very weirdly. About it, I'm not sure because I just think, you know, it might be a little bit dangerous. So. Okay, this is intimidating. Scroll. <laughs> okay, this is a tough girl. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I should, you know, because I think that I should discuss it with my father. <laughs> His voice is so... Oh, here, discuss. Let's hear the right answer. Wow. Ooh. Since when did you become the physical type? <laughs> the answer's no, Griff. <laughs> I love it. Chicken. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, how did you know? <laughs> I love it. Nobody calls me. <laughs> and the music. Hoverboard. Where oh, is wow. he? Or, oh my gosh, it's exactly like the first movie. Oh. Well, he needs a bit more skills, you know? Something very familiar about all this. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Just jump, jump, jump! No! Oh, well, oh. Yep, good job! Well, I don't think it's worth it, you know? I mean, <laughs> oh. Shit. Yeah. Books <laughs> used to have these to protect the covers. Of course, that was before they had us to fill on paper. Sports Almanac. I haven't seen one of those in 30 years. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, no, but he, now he saw both of them. Because this hoverboard incident has now occurred, Griff now goes to jail. Therefore, your son won't go with him tonight, and that robbery will never take place. Thus, history, future history, has now been altered, and this is the. Okay, that's great. Well, we did it. Hardly recreational or reading material, Marty. Well, hey, Doc, and what's the harm in bringing back a little info on the future? Marty, I did invent the time machine for financial gain. Well, mm, the perils and a promise. Perhaps even an answer to that universal question. But I mean, yes. But this is very tempting, right? I mean, like, two or three, yes. <laughs> Great Scott! Oh, the police! Jennifer Jane Parker, 3793 Oakhurst Street, Hildale, age 47. How do we know? 47, that's a hell of a good facelift. <laughs> good facelift. <laughs> ID. Since her thumbprint never changes over the years, I simply assume she's the Jennifer of the future. Oh, I see. Well, makes sense. Great Scott! Jennifer could conceivably encounter her future self! True, because they are driving her home. Coming face to face with herself 30 years older would put her into shock and she'd simply pass out. The encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! Oh, okay. Okay, I would not argue with him, you know? He's very intimidating when he uh, gives speeches like that. I... I trust him immediately. Let's do whatever you say. Did he hear the whole conversation? So, Doc Brown invented a time. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, Beef is not that person who is going to be like, oh, nah, I could be rich, but nah, it's not fair. Karma, no, I'm not gonna do that. 
I'm pretty sure that he's going to, uh, but how can he, you know, give it to his old self? Just take it easy and you'll be fine. And be careful in the future. <gasps> True. Be careful in the future. Have a nice day, Mrs. McFly. Will's a very nice police woman. I gotta get out of here. Shit, where is it? Where is my handle? How do I open the doors in the future? We can't risk you running into your older self. Come on, Annie. Annie. <laughs> I'm glad that he's that excited. Oh, this is beef. He was following them. Okay, I want channels 18, 24, 63, 9, You can. Wow, how can you. Channel, you no How can you watch few channels at the same time? My mom, my brain would explode. Oh, oh! How are we going to get back home? Right, he does not know how to use it. I mean, it's not that simple. That's a very tiny piece of pizza. Hydrate level four, please. <gasps> oh, I want this! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Here's my card. Scan it. I'm in. Thanks, McFly. I'll see you at the plant tomorrow. I think he. This is very bad. McFly! <laughs> oh, he was monitoring him. Supervisor. I was monitoring that scan you just interfaced. You are terminated. Terminated, no! He got fired in a second! Please, no, I cannot be fired, I'm fired! They even put it on the screen, this is so mean! Marty, what does this fax mean? Oh, oh Mama, we all saw joke, it! An office joke, a kind joke. of a joke fax. Oh, he should tell her. Welcome home, Jennifer. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, no, 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 they interfered, they saw each other! <laughs> Oh, this is oh so many, but Jennifer looks good. Um, when you know when she's older, she looks pretty good. Risks are just too great as this incident proves, and I was behaving True. responsibly. Imagine you coming home one day and there is a younger version of you standing in a in a doorway. How would you react? Study the other great mystery of the universe, women. <laughs> We have a great mystery of universe, women. When she wakens here at her own house and it's dark, you should be able to convince her that it was all a dream. We always leave her somewhere, right? <laughs> Mine state. It, and everything is for sale. If you need me, I'll be back in my lab, dismantling this thing. Right. Oh, he decided to do it right away. Why wait? Hey, 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 wait. Wait a minute. What, 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 what are you doing in my room? Help! Freeze! Hey, oh my god! Oh, you got trouble, now you piece of shit! Oh my gosh, this is not his home anymore! That I ain't selling, you hear? We ain't gonna be terrorized! Oh wow, okay, something bad is happening. You see how police car is... I think they screwed something up. Is this going to be a horror movie? Oh wow. This looks so different. Is it beef? So he succeeded, right? He succeeded with his almanac. He somehow gave it to himself, like when he stole the car. Welcome to the Biff Tannen Museum, dedicated oh. to Hill Valley's number one citizen. Inside, you will learn how Biff Tannen became one of the richest and most powerful men in America. Well, when you know what to bet. Biff's humble beginnings and how a trip to the racetrack on his 21st birthday made him a millionaire overnight. Wow, well. And relive Biff's happiest moment as in 1973 he realized his lifelong romantic dream by marrying his high school sweetheart Lorraine Mr. Baines McFly. He married Marcy's mother? No! Okay, this is disgusting. Hey, go, oh, hey, great, you come with us upstairs. There you go, Sonny. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Okay, this was definitely not an easy way. Beef married his mother. Where is George? Back on the good old 27th floor. 27th floor? Oh. Ah. Ah. 
Well, she sure looks different. Mom, that can't be you. Did she do... Boobs? You're so... Big. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's your father. My father. You're supposed to be in Switzerland, you little son of a bitch. Oh, she... She's drinking, drinking again. Let's get this straight. Marty is your kid, not mine. He's a butthead just like his old man was. You're not even half the man he was. <gasps> you son of a hey, bitch! Why he treats her like that? Why? You want to take a poke at me? Well, he sure does. <gasps> he just got even worse. Well, maybe you'd like to have all three of your kids behind bars. He's just such like a brother. terrible person, you know? Big happy jailbird family. He's just the worst. I mean, I thought he was bad before, but now... As for you, I'll be back up here in an hour, so you better not be. But, you know, we kind of showed why she is with him, still with him. That's why she's drinking that much. I had it coming. He's my husband and he takes care of all of us. How can he be your husband? Yeah. How can you leave dad for him? Yeah, I, I would see the shock. Where's my father? Where's George McFly? Oak Park Cemetery. His dad is dad? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Shit. He has been dead for 12 years. The stupid beef, I hate him. You know, I'm sure that he had to do something with it. He had something to do with it. No! Oh, please, God, no! Okay, I'm also gonna cry. We need when to... I learned about your father, I figured you'd come here! We need to, you know, we need to change their consequences and stuff like that. It's not supposed to be like this. Let's change it. Obviously, the time continuum has been disrupted, creating this quince resulting in this alternate reality. English. Yes, right? <laughs> Okay, please, for like, for me too. Somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent reality for everyone else. Yeah, I see. I found them in the time machine, along with this. And he's going to recognize it, because he was like... While we were in the future, Biff got the sports book, stole the time machine, went back in time, and gave the book to himself at some point in the past. But how do I know which point? Look in this pocket with a magnifying glass. Almanac. He was bringing it with him. The whole thing is my fault. If I hadn't bought that damn book, none of this would have ever happen. Very twisted what we did. You know, we went back to the future. We went to the future. We get back and this is completely different. <laughs> oh, what's it disgusting Grace to have a husband Grace like that, you know? The guy is brilliant. Grays, sports... Almanac. He's just such a I don't know, like a I don't even know how to describe him. Such a sleaze. He says this book will tell me the outcome of every sporting event till the end of the century. Oh, he's not going to touch him. <laughs> let him touch it. And what's the catch? He says, no catch. Just keep it a secret. He sure has a lot of money. He said someday a crazy wild-eyed scientist or a kid may show up asking about that book. And if that ever happens... <gasps> kill them? Oh... I never thought it would He's be not you. going to kill him. He's literally shooting kind of his own kid. Wow, it shows that he has nothing now inside. Just, you know, ugh. But, you know, he's shooting and because he was raising him, kind of, right? I know that he's a bad person, but this is a human being and this is... Uh, Son of his wife. You're gonna match up the bullet with that gun. Dad, I own the police. Yeah, I think so. He has so much money. Besides, they couldn't match up the bullet that killed your old man. He killed his father? I knew, I knew it was somehow connected. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe dog is out there. <laughs> Like Aladdin. <laughs> oh. You know, I wish you punched him a bit harder. You're not gonna believe this. We gotta go back to 1955. I don't believe it. <laughs> so now we're going back to the past. 
to change the future, which is present. Sometime today, Old Biff will show up to give young Biff the almanac. We must let Old Biff believe he succeeded so that he'll leave mm. 1955 and True. bring the DeLorean back to the future. True. Right. The Dr. Emma Brown from 1955. The younger me and helps the other you get back to 1955. Remember the lightning bolt at the clock tower? Yeah. That event doesn't happen until tonight. Oh my gosh. Get yourself some 50s wow. clothes. Check that. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to get my car, Grandma. Oh, well, he was mean even when he was a kid, but we remember that. Go get it. He's a very angry person. <laughs> He's just literally a bad person. The manure. I remember that. <laughs> For a $300 job, I can't even have lunch in the shop. I should get a case of one. Wow, okay. It smells worse than that. Oh, this must be so painful. It's a nice dress to bring, although I think you'd look better wearing nothing at all. He's just, oh my god, he's just so disgusting as a person. Somebody already asked me to the dance. Who? That bug George McFly? George McFly, yes. I'm with Calvin Klein, okay? Calvin Klein, no, it's not a Oh, Calvin Klein! This is Marty, remember his underwear? I'm well, gonna marry you someday, Lorraine! One of the universes that's actually true. Which is sad. I did have a way with women. <laughs> Get the hell out of my car, old man! You know how to do that. Nobody can start this car but me. Today's your lucky day. Oh. Hey, and another thing. How do you know where I live? Let's just say we're related. Tells the results of every major sports event till the end of the century. Now, why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? <laughs> leave, you idiot. Make like a tree and leave. You sound okay, like a damn... Okay, I... I don't, I don't know these phrases, but... <laughs> what are you, deaf old man? He just said it was over. You lost. Oh, yeah. Here comes Decker with a kick. It's up. It looks... Well, I would believe it, too. So, this is pretty believable. One day, kid, a crazy wild-eyed old man who... <gasps> Oh no, he's locked in a garage now. Oh, that's very bad. He's got to book the old man's gun too. I'm locked in Biff's garage. I can't take the DeLorean out in the daylight. But don't worry, Marty, somehow I'll get over there. Yeah, but this is... This is... This is a flying car. He cannot enter the city in a flying car. Oh. Okay, and this movie is now adding another fear to me. Always check the back seat. Oh, you're too late. Marty, Marty. Damn. He's not here. He just left. He just missed him. Marty, you must be extremely careful not to run into yeah. your other self. My other self? Yes. <gasps> oh, no, he's already... Oh, my gosh. Marty, oh, my happens? gosh, and he's preparing for... The consequences could be disastrous. Excuse me, sir. <gasps> oh, shit. Be a pal, hand me a 5 8 inch wrench out of that toolbox. Oh, this is might be so weird, you know, meeting yourself. You're conducting some sort of weather experiment. <laughs> oh, guess what? <laughs> oh, George McFly. You know, this is so... Um... Everything is so twisted, but this is not even weird to him anymore. Oh, <laughs> he's adding liquor and there is a por pornography. Sports almanac. <laughs> Are they trying to make everyone drunk or they're just, you know, trying not to... Uh, not to get caught with jinx. Is now Mr. Strickland is going to be rich. <laughs> You've got a real attitude problem. You know that talent, just watch it. Because one day I'll have you right where I want you in detention. I think it's very, you know, he has a lot of <laughs> reasons to give him a detention. But he took the almanac. It's not going to be easy to steal it. Maybe after a few more cups, it's going to be already a bit more easier. Come on, Marcy, this is your chance. This is your chance. Do it. Do it. <gasps> Shit! <gasps> oh 
Oh wow, ok, that's good, that's good. Yes. Ok, yes, amazing, good news. <gasps> no. Oh no, he changed the books. Doc, I'm in trouble, I blew it. Where's the book? I don't, Biff must still have it. No, come on. Cover it. And where's Biff? You're asking for it. I don't know. Where is he? Here's Judge, he's right in the back. He's right in the back. He turned around. Damn it! <laughs> I gotta go! I got one chance! My old man's about to take this! <laughs> he said it so proudly, I love it! <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old! <laughs> Come on, get the book! Get the book now! Okay, buddy, let's back up now, huh? What's CPR? You! <laughs> This is CPR. Hey, did you just take his wallet? He just took that guy's wallet. <laughs> I know CPR. <laughs> Jim, hey, he's in disguise. Guys, what's that? <laughs> he's in disguise. <laughs> Always works with them. <laughs> Where did he go? He, Come on, man. he just came in here. But he was on the stage. We were two of them now. Look, how do you yes. get up on stage? I don't know, but when he gets down, we're gonna nail him. How the hell he changes clothes so fast? <laughs> Oh, he's getting more and more complicated. Oh, Beef is not going to leave it like that, you know? Where is he? Oh, Calvin Klein. Oh, <laughs> the guy with the hat. Where Calvin Klein. I love it. I think he took your wallet. I think he took his wallet. <laughs> oh, Johnny, go, go, go. Johnny, be good. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm playing very nice. Go. Oh, those are very mean guys. Ooh, I have a feeling that he's going to fall. Come on, come on. Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh, all right. Marty, that was very interesting music. Oh, uh, yeah. But your kids gonna love it. <laughs> hey, butthead. This is very bad. You think that stupid disguise would get by me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you chicken? Yes. That's Come on, you need to let it go. You need to let it go. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. No. Come on, let it go. Let it go, please. Nobody calls me chicken. <laughs> You my stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh! And he's driving away and he cannot oh he's hurt. And that's all because he called you chicken. That's okay, chickens are nice. Chickens very, very good animals, you know, they give eggs and stuff. Which way did he go? East towards the river on tunnel. Get him! Well, that's a good pursuit. <laughs> He needs to pay attention a bit more what's going in the back of his car. Okay, it's so close, but so far at the same time. Come on! Come on, don't let go, don't let go, be careful! Oh, he no, oh my gosh! We drift! Shit! I like that he does not care about the car anymore because he knows that he is going to be rich soon. But he saw him. Oh, he's strong, we know he's strong. What? Oh, good job! He's crazy. He's too close, it's too close! Okay, he's almost out of the tunnel, almost! Oh, oh. Dog! Okay, dog racing time and I love the music, it's totally like, yay! <laughs> yeah! Oh, karma! <laughs> I hate the dog! That's what you get if you act like an asshole for your life, you know? In your life. You got it in my hand! Burn it! Yes. Oh, remember that he took the matches from beef? 
from a rich beef. He is saving his father right now and his mother. Don't want to get struck by lightning! Oh! 99? Do you read me, Doc? Come in. Doc! Is he really... I mean... No, if he would be dead, when there would be no 99 on the sky. In the sky, it means something. Like a... I don't know. He's gone. A sign. This is a very nice family movie. He cannot be dead. Mr. McFly! Yes. Huh? Is your name Marty McFly? Yes. Okay, what's happening right now? I've got something for you. A gun? A letter. A letter? That's not how you deliver letters. That's how you kill people, not deliver letters. Letters? Who the hell are you? Western Union. Western Union? Envelope in our possession for the past 70 years. So this is envelope from the past. We had a little bet going as to whether this party would actually be here. <laughs> Looks like I lost. <laughs> Your friend, dog. It's from the dog! Alright, alright, okay, what does it say? Dear Marty, if my calculations are correct, you will receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. First, let me assure you that I'm alive and well. Oh, thank God! I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. There's only one man who can help me! The current dog! The current dog! He is trying to. Say <laughs> This is so cool how they, you know, combine the first and the second one. I love it. Because it's the same scenes. <laughs> okay, he would be so shocked. <laughs> Doc! 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 He just sent him, you know, to the future. I'm back from the future. <laughs> He's like, shh. Great Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie was amazing it was very good and you know what i liked the most is that um way combine it with the first movie you know they could have gone into different date and show a completely different movie but here you could see um you could see the moments from the first movie and I just watched it so I remember all of it and it's just it's so it's so amazing to watch it's very nice to watch it pretty much at the same time so the movie was great and it has like you know it's it has jokes and it's very um very kind except for the beef because he was just a terrible terrible human being and i don't know how we made him to be so bad but he's disgusting and no matter if he is old young or anything he is just like that and his son so but i love the movie but the only thing is i feel so sorry for jennifer because she always was left somewhere on the street passed out unconscious i was thinking during the movie which part i liked more the first one or the second and right now i cannot really answer that because i loved them both i'm not sure if equally because i don't i both of them were great so anyway uh i want to thank my patrons thank you guys so much and i want to have a special shout out to jared skelter 698 eric hoover faceless critic marcus allen Eden, michael alonso torres joe swenson and bill brown thank you guys so much and follow my patreon the link is on the video it's also in the description you could see my full length reaction video and participate on votes on where we decide what to watch next and before you exit the video please press like and subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment let me know what you think about my reaction and let me know what you think about back to the future too i'll see you very soon guys bye